Hi everyone, welcome to this week's yoga practice. Today is going to be a nice 20 minute sequence that will just be a good overall yoga practice that will target some key areas of the body that get tight, whether you're athletic or not. So let's get started. You don't necessarily need a yoga mat, but it helps as a non-slip surface. And also maybe some blocks or a cushion can help with a little bit of support in various poses that we'll be doing. So to get started, you want to come over into tabletop. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we're gonna synchronize our movement with our breathing. So as you inhale, you're gonna drop the tummy, gently look forward, feeling a nice curve in the spine. And as you exhale, round the back like a cat, dropping the head between the arms, exhale fully, and inhale, repeat the movement, curving the spine in the opposite direction. We're not straining the neck here, so if it's more comfortable to keep it level, that's great. Exhale, you're gonna round the back fully, stretch out, and inhale, come back. This is cow pose. And then as you exhale, you're gonna move into cat pose. Nice, big stretch in the back. This is great to warm up the spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Fully stretch. Inhale, one more time. And exhale, fully. And inhale, come back to a nice, neutral, flat spine, nice flat back. So we're gonna add a little bit of core movement here. You want to bring the knees a little closer together, and we're gonna do some circles with the right knee out to the side. So you're gonna lift the right foot up and take the knee out to the side, kind of warming up the hip before we move into the core. So four or five times in one direction and then change the direction of your circle with the knee out to the side. Try not to lean over, try and look back and keep the left thigh bone perpendicular to the ground and then switch sides. So lifting the left foot up now, take the knee out and around in a circle. Keeping the foot flexed as if you were going to stamp up with the foot towards the ceiling. Again, Reverse the direction of the circle. So we're just warming the left hip up now. Good, and then bring the foot all the way down to the floor. So we're gonna take the right leg out behind us now, keeping it as parallel to the ground as possible. Try and straighten the leg. Again, make sure you're not rolling over onto the left. Squeeze the glute, the hamstring, the quad, the calf, flex the toes towards the floor, and then lift up the left arm. Balance here for a moment, and then we're going to take the foot and the arm out to opposite sides. So left arm out to the left, right arm out to the right, and come back to centre. One more time, we're going to do this three times on each side. We're moving, nice, we're moving nice and slowly with control. Come all the way back. Slowly place the hand and the foot on the ground, switch sides, starting with the left leg out behind you. Imagine you're kicking a wall behind you, that might help to activate all the muscles of the back leg. You can look back, make sure you're not rolling up onto the right hip. Try and think of the hips as, as flat as possible. Squeeze the quad, the glute, the hamstring, the calf, flex the toes to the floor and then lift up the right arm. Engage the core, draw that tummy button in towards your spine and then slowly take the right arm out, the left leg out. Good, bring it back to centre. One more time, out back to centre, keeping everything moving slowly with control, back to centre, and then bring the arm and the foot down. Nice job. So for a little bit more core activation, you're going to take the right leg up behind you, but this time point the foot, and again, try not to roll the hip open as much as possible, so you need to use the glutes as well to stabilise the hips a little here, and then take the left arm up. We're going to inhale, look up, exhale, Draw the knee and elbow together underneath you, rounding the back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, squeeze together. Inhale, exhale. A few more times. Inhale, point your toe, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale, and come down. So let's switch sides. Point the left toe out behind you. Again, square the hips as much as possible, draw the navel towards the spine, lift the right arm up, lift and extend a little here, and then exhale, draw the elbow and knee together, inhale, lift, exhale, squeeze in, 
Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze in. One more time, stretch and bring the hand and the foot all the way down. Nice work, come back into child's pose. So bring the knees and the feet together and ankles together. Then take the knees wide and stretch yourself out along the mat here for a nice child's pose, a good hip opener. Stretch from the top of the feet. You might want to just roll from right to left a couple of times. Breathing into the belly. So feel the abdomen expand with the inhale and inhale deeply and then exhale fully. A few rounds of nice deep breathing. And if this feels too, like too much pressure, you can always stack the fist and just rest the forehead on the hands, especially if you know that bringing the head lower than the heart it places too much pressure on the system. So just be mindful of how you're feeling here. You can always make adaptations whenever you need to. Good, we're just gonna add in a little side stretch. So we're gonna walk the hand over to the right side of the mat. Press the hands into the floor as if you were doing downward dog. So fingers wide, arms active, and then really try to take the left hip away from the left hand. Relax down, forehead can just hover between the arms or rest on the floor. And breathe into this nice side stretch. Good, one more inhale. And as you exhale, slowly walk the hands over to the other side. So right hand now is going to press into the floor, press the left hand firmly in as well. So you get a little bit of an activation of the arms and then sink that right hip down, stretching through the right side. Again, just hold the neck wherever is comfortable and breathe into this nice stretch. Good. Take one more inhale. Exhale, come all the way back to center. And then just slowly make your way up to sitting, bringing the knees together. And from here, we're going to step our right foot forward into a low lunge. So you're going to come up and place the foot just in front of you so that the knee is above the ankle. And the hips want to be in kind of a nice neutral position. So if you know that your hips slump forward, try to just gently bring them back without overarching and tucking your tailbone under. So think of everything as a nice straight line. Good. You may need to just engage the core a little here, help to stabilize, and then inhale, lift both arms up and just gently look up or forward. Take a nice stretch here, inhale, and then see if you can lift the heart center of the sternum up and back slightly to take a nice gentle back bend here. Good. Inhale, exhale, come back to center, and then drop the right hand down. And we're just going to add in a nice side stretch. So try not to collapse here. Try to keep the left shoulder pressing gently back. Stretch the fingers over. And again, feel the stretch across the top of the right, sorry, the left hip flexor, the left quad, maybe into the left side, waist into the ribs. Good, one more inhale, come all the way up. Good. Bring the left hand down. Maybe wiggle the fingers, shake the shoulders. And then we're gonna bring the arms into what you call a cactus arms. So kind of bent like this. And we're gonna slowly do some twisting. So inhale to prepare. Exhale, slowly twist through the waist, taking the right shoulder comfortably back to wherever it'll go. And you can look over your right as well. We're trying to keep the hips facing forward. So think of this left hip point as drawing back a little as the left one stays forward. Good, inhale, exhale, rotate all the way around to the other side. Again, think of the hips as facing forward, the waist as twisting to allow the shoulders to rotate. Inhale to center. Let's go one more time to each side. Nice twist, good, inhale. Exhale all the way around. Inhale, exhale back to center. And then we're just going to do some gentle stretching. So we're going to take the fingertips up to touch above the head and then come back down. Keeping the elbows 
arms and shoulders out. So we're not coming in too far forward. A few more times. Two, three, four, five. Good job. Come all the way down and bring the hands on the floor around that front right foot. And this is where some blocks might be handy. You may want to put the blocks on either side of the foot. Or you might want to put just one on the inside of the left foot. So let's do that first. You might want to stack your blocks. We're just going to walk this right foot out to the side and do a runner's lunge, which is a nice way to get a deep hip stretch. So for those who find they've got space, you may want to just um, move your left knee back and out a little to get a deeper stretch. Come down onto your blocks. Some of you may have the ability to come down onto the ground or the mobility, should I say, in the hip and the flexibility. You may want to just gently move from side to side here. If you would like to stay a little bit up, you can uh, on the blocks, you can gently roll the right knee out to the side. This is a great stretch, even if you just come halfway down and sink into it. You can hold here for as long as you feel comfortable. But we'll keep moving, so come all the way back up. And then we're gonna add a gentle twist here. And just very gently place your right hand on your right thigh and just simply look up to the right. Breathing into it. We're not gonna go too deeply into this twist. We're using the blocks or the ground for support or maybe some books or your pool boy or a pair of shoes. Good, and then slowly come back, bringing the hands back and moving the blocks to one side. Good. Then we're gonna slowly take this right foot back, sit back into, into just a nice kneeling, this is hero's pose, just sitting for a moment, just becoming aware of the differences between the right and the left side. Just take a couple of nice breaths. And then we'll switch sides. We're gonna step the left foot forward now. Again, taking a moment just to set up. You want to think of this knee above the ankle, hips in a nice neutral position. If you sit at a desk for a lot of the time during the day, you might find that already this is stretching out your hip flexors. It's gonna be great for people working from home, people who drive a lot, and people who just generally have to sit for work. So the first thing we're gonna do is, once you feel that you're stable here, a little bit of core engagement, you're gonna take both arms up overhead, inhale here. Just feel that nice extension as you stretch up. And then if you'd like to, take a small back bend, lift up the heart center, your sternum, and curve back slowly and gently. Pressing through the front left foot, inhale. And exhale, come all the way back down. Or come, bring the left arm back down, sorry. Take your right arm over, take a nice stretch here. So this is a nice side stretch. We're gonna take the right hand over. Try not to collapse, try and keep lifting the heart, pressing the right shoulder and elbow back a little, enabling you to get a nice deep side stretch. Good. Bring the hand all the way down. And then we're gonna do the twisting with the cactus arms. So bring your arms up into this nice box shape. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, twist round to your left. Again, we're not straining, we're just looking for a nice twist. Hips facing forward, rotation through the waist. Good, and then come all the way around to front and straight round to the other side. Making sure your arms don't drop. Inhale and exhale all the way around to the other side. Good, inhale. Exhale, one more time to each side. Inhale, exhale, twist. Good. Inhale, exhale. Good. And then come back to center and take the fingertips to meet up above your head so we get a little kind of stretch, stretch and strength here. So you're squeezing the shoulder blades, bringing the fingertips to touch five times. So it's just kind of opening up the shoulders in a different way. Move a different plane of movement. Good. Five, good, and then bring the hands all the way down. 
So now we're going to come down and do the runner's lunge on the other side, placing your blocks inside. You may find you want to come here to start with, just to kind of get into a little bit of a hip stretch and then bring the blocks to the inside. Walk the foot out a fraction, maybe rearrange the back knee, kicking it out and maybe to the right a little. Everybody's different, so you may not find that is any help, but just in case, there are options there. So we're gonna just sink into this hip stretch. You can, again, let the knee roll out to the side, just nice and slowly. You may want to sink deeply into the stretch and hold here. If you want to stay here, you just need to relax the face and the jaw. And then we press pause and then slowly come back up. And we're just gonna take a very gentle twist to the left, placing the left hand on the left thigh, slowly rotate through the waist, dropping the right shoulder, lifting the left shoulder up and back and just look up over to the left. Good, and then come all the way back to center, bring the hands down and slide that left foot back. Move the blocks to one side. And we're just gonna come down onto the mat now to begin a short wind down, kind of cool down. So you want to roll onto your back, just make your way down nice and slowly. Hug the knees into the chest, give the back a little massage, rock from side to side. Maybe do some circles with the knees. Just a little massage for the lower back. And then we're gonna place the feet on the floor, cross the right ankle over the left, sit up and simply reach for the feet or the shins or maybe just hug the knees in here. Whatever's comfortable, allowing you to feel a nice stretch through the right hip. And you can just stay here, four or five nice breaths. So from here, you can actively draw the knees up and the feet up and in towards you to take a deeper hip stretch, or you can just simply hold and breathe into it, getting a nice stretch across that outside of that right hip. Then we'll slowly release the feet, placing them on the floor, but keeping the legs crossed. We're gonna do a short spinal twist, taking the arms out to the side, allow the legs to slowly roll over to the left, and take your face to look over to the right. And just breathe, allowing the legs to gently roll over. When you're ready, engage the core. Inhale, exhale, lift the legs up and slowly uncross and then switch sides, crossing the left leg over. Sit up, reach for the feet, the ankles, or just gently hold on to the knees. And relax onto the ground allowing the back to be supported by the ground. You can take four or five nice deep breaths here. And again, you can kind of wiggle the feet or you can move the knees up and down. But just allow this uh, stretch for the left outer hip to help you kind of work on those tight spots. And then slowly release feet from the hands, place the foot, the bottom foot on the floor, take the arms out to the side and then just let the legs roll to the other side, over to the right and look out over your left arm. Allowing the body to fully relax onto the floor, a nice twist for the spine. And you can begin to kind of wind down now, close the eyes maybe, relax the face, take a few deep breaths. And then prepare to move back to the center. So engage the core, inhale, and exhale, lift the knees back to center. Uncross the legs. Hug the knees into the chest one more time. Wrap yourself up into a tiny ball, wrapping the arms over the shins, forehead to knees. Inhale and exhale, just let everything fall onto the floor for a short relaxation. Just allowing your body to fully reap the benefits of this yoga practice. A few rounds of nice deep breathing. And then 
and slowly wiggle the fingers and toes. Roll over onto one side, bending the knees, placing a hand on the floor. Push your way up to sitting. And just to round off today's yoga practice, come to a nice, easy cross-legged position. Thanks very much for practicing yoga with us today. Have a wonderful day.